Hello Atlantic Reader, thank you for coming. My name is James Parker and this is a prayer that I wrote a couple of days ago. It's called Corona Prayer. Dear Lord, in this our hour of doorknobs and droplets, when masks have cancelled our personalities. In this our hour of prickling perimeters, sinister surfaces, defeated bodies and victorious abstractions. When some of us are stepping into rooms humid with contagion and some of us are standing in the pasta aisle. In this our hour of vacant parks and boarded up hoops, when we miss the sky high roar of the city and hear instead the tarp that flaps on the unfinished roof, the squirrel giving his hinge like cry and the siren constantly passing. To you we send up our prayer as follows. Let not heebie-jeebies become our religion, our new ideology with its own jargon. Fortify us, Lord, show us how. What would your saints be doing now? St. Francis, he was a fan of the human. He'd be rolling naked on Boston Common. He'd be sharing a bottle, no mask, no gloves, shielded only by burning love. But I don't think we're in the mood for feats of antic beatitude. In New York City and in Madrid, the saints maintain the rumbling grid. Bless the mailman and equally bless the bus driver, vector of steadfastness. Protect the bravest, the best we've got. Protect the rest of us. Why not? And if the virus that took John Prine comes as it may, for me and mine, although we've mostly stayed indoors, well, then, as ever, we're all yours. Until further notice, amen.